Hi, thank you for joining me this week. This week's video was actually supposed to be a magnetic eyelash tutorial demo and trying out different types of magnetic lashes. Except yesterday I had to go to the doctor and get a skin growth removed right on the outer corner of my eyes. So I've got a little starey strip there and I thought, yeah, that's not gonna make for a great magnetic lash tutorial. So we're gonna hold off for a week, let this thing heal, and hopefully I'll be able to do that for you next week. But um, I am totally switching gears for this week's video. And it, it probably makes sense to do so because if you follow me on social media, you've probably sensed that last week was not my best week. I've, I kind of went through the ringer in a lot of ways, in a lot of ways. And it was just a brutal week of, I don't know, I, I guess a cluster, a series of events, things that just happened all at once. And I just kept saying, you know, God, how much more, how much more am I supposed to handle? Am I supposed to endure? Um, because I feel like I'm at my tipping point. I feel like I am just dealing with so, so much. And I, I put on a brave face and I thank God, love what I do. And thank God even more that what I do provides for a roof over my head and I can provide for those that I love. But, but the burden of everything that I've been through in life has just been too much. So I was um, having a conversation with a really good friend of mine and I was telling him just all that I've been going through. Yes, there have been upsides, but also a tremendous amount of loss, disappointment, struggle, frustration, hurt, all of that. And I feel like I have to be so strong to lift and to carry so many. And my burden is great. You know, my burden is great. And he just sort of compared it to carrying a backpack full of bricks. That that's what it feels like, that you're walking around with a backpack full of bricks. But he said at some point, you've got to start letting those bricks go and start taking care of you and loving you. And he said to me, he said, you know, loving you isn't about a spa day. It's about truly loving who you are as a person and feeling good in your own skin, in your own quiet, without all the noise, without the distraction, without the, I have to do this or I have to stay busy or else I can't be comfortable in my own quiet space. And I think that we women find ourselves in that situation where we just, we are so caught up in the busyness that when the world stops or we just choose to hit the brake, sometimes that silence and that pause can be downright scary because it makes us face how we're really feeling about ourselves in our situations. And so I just, I don't know, I just had, I had a week where I just personally was, was wrecked you know, I had some financial things hit me all at once. Um, just, just what felt like a mountain. But um, I am sharing these things with you because I know I'm not alone in having these moments, these experiences, these times, these days, these weeks where it seems like everything piles on. Everything is happening all at once. And you keep thinking, how much more can I take? How much more can I endure? You know, why is all of this happening at once? And what I realized this week, well, a lot of things I realized, but mainly the incredible gift of friendship and the power of that connection to press in. And all of our friends are different and they all bring different things to the equation, but to have a listening ear, a sounding board, someone to give you a little bit of you know, perspective or just to let you vent and tell you it's gonna be okay is such a great, such a great thing to have. Um, as well as your faith, your belief system. You know, it's what has, it's what has always gotten me through 
anything that I've had to get through. But, you know, even I have moments and times where it's, it's like, wow, you know, how, how much more? And, and when will all of this resolve? When can I move past things, get that kind of clearance, get that out of the way emotionally, mentally, allow it to pass, allow for the forgiveness, for the time, for the healing, for all of that. Um, and, and sometimes we feel like we're just stuck. It's like your feet are in quicksand and you're trying to get out of the quicksand and nothing's releasing. So I, I wanted to share um, just a couple of things. You know, I um, journal and a, a wonderful woman I met here in my building. And it's funny because she met my mother first and the two of them became friends. And then my mom said, oh, honey, I have this girl. She's your age. You have to meet her. You're going to love her. And sure enough, I met her and I love her. She's like a sister to me. And, you know, we only know each other in such a short period of time. But, you know, she too is going through a major life transition. Major, major, major. So we can kind of fire on all cylinders together when we talk and share and, and all of that. But, um, and I can't, get, I can't get too much into a lot of my, my personal stuff. But I can at least share with you some thoughts and feelings of what I've been going through. And I, I share this because I don't ever want you to think that you're alone in the depth of your problems, that you're the only one feeling it as painfully or as badly as you are, and that no, nobody else could be going through that kind of hurt. We all go through different types of hurt and pain and suffering and endurance and tests and all of that. And I share this because I've been transparent and, you know, transparency is a huge part of, first of all, who I am, but I think it's why you're here. You know, you expect that from me. You expect honesty, vulnerability, truth, discussion about things that matter. And so this is just a little, little moment of what I went through last week. Um, actually, I wrote this on Monday. Today sucks. <laughs> Sleep is erratic as are my moods. I bounce around feeling depressed, anxious, sad, crying, lonely, overwhelmed, faced with a mountain of decisions and big life events ahead. My head is spinning and my heart feels squeezed as if wrung dry. My usual smile has faded into a forced grin. Sunglasses hide the pain in my eyes. So here I am throwing my own pity party when my role is usually to lift and inspire. I need to experience the down and out. I literally bawled the other day, the kind of wailing where you can barely catch your breath, sobbing that comes from just too much. My mom was a trooper and rushed upstairs after hearing the tone in my voice. I try not to look too far ahead because today is enough to handle, but there has been a lot of purging, soul searching and guidance seeking. If I didn't talk to God a lot before, now it must feel like a telethon to him. So I release the gunk, speak my truth and know that when valleys get deeper, Summits always get higher. And here's, here's where I shift it because this is so much a part of my belief system and so much of what I try to encourage you to do is that even in the darkest of dark, there's always something to be grateful for, right? There are declarations over ourselves and our lives that we must make, especially in the hard times. And so I said, I'm expecting greatness in my destiny and growth in the process. Apparently I needed some, I'm okay with that. So today I'm thankful for the awareness and respect of the process. I will be better for it. I will seek joy in the quiet. I am grateful that I love what I do and it can support me and those that I love. I am strong, capable and transparent. I've got this. And I want to share with you just some beautiful words that my friend offered to me 
without revealing too much either. But just the importance of pressing into good relationships and friendships when you can, because you never know how somebody else might be able to lift you, as well as the gift of the lifting that you give to somebody else. You know, there's power in making somebody feel good. And when you open yourself up and you're vulnerable and you're transparent about what's going on in your life, you open up and create space for another person to rise to the occasion and to let them help you. Um, and I love that. I think that is a gift to be offered. I think if we, and, and I have definitely fallen victim to this in the past of just keeping everything to myself and thinking, I've, I've got to figure this out on my own. I don't want to burden anybody or I don't want to, you know, burst the bubble of perfection. Well, you know, I, I got over that a long time ago and I've realized that it's not burdening people, but it's actually, you know, potentially gifting them with an ability to do something and also an opportunity to feel closer to you in a relationship. So my dear friend said this, Dominique, you are one powerful woman who has inspired so many to live boldly. After our talk last night, I had so many thoughts for you, about you, and some tears knowing exactly how you feel. So here is your pep talk. Being alone is not easy, not always fun, and sometimes downright scary and sad. It will grow you in so many ways as it leaves you to ponder about yourself what you want, and what truly makes you happy. I still don't have any idea, but I know that we both want to be safe, truly cherished, seen, heard, and loved for who we are on the inside with our outer beauty as icing on the cake. So I thank my dear friend for those incredibly precious and sweet and loving words because, um, you know, she really lifted me during a dark time. And so... <laughs> Um, I just want you to know that it's okay to have crappy days. It's okay to feel like you are at the bottom and you keep wondering why so many things keep coming at you and, and it's, it can seem too much to bear, but it's okay. And all I know in the process is that my prayer practice with God and, and the closer I get to him and the closer I get to people in my life and I open myself up, the more blessing I see pouring in. And the time that I take for me to be with me and to feel comfortable with all of that is a process and things don't happen overnight and I most certainly I can't expect them to, and um, I don't think any of us can expect them to when we go through change. And I talk about this a lot because we as women at this time in our lives um, are prone to going through a lot of change, being you know, empty nesters. Oftentimes it's a career change or maybe having to get into a career because a marriage is dissolving and financially you need to or you know, being in that sandwich generation where you're still caring for children but also caring for aging parents. And at a time when you thought you'd have this quiet and this time for you, you don't. So a lot of things I think can catch us by surprise and overwhelm us. And so I think what I'm learning is not to have a set of expectations of how things should be when they should be, but to understand that Everything is a path that leads you somewhere. And so I know that it's leading me to a better place, a happier place, a, a more fulfilled, more successful, enriched, loving, beautiful space and place. I know this is all part of God's plan for me. And so in the moment, I will look at today and I will live for today and make decisions for today and give praise for today and the little things, you know, my dog that just walked by who loves on me and, and my, my good health and, you know, many things, many things to give praise for. I will continue to seek that and I encourage you to do that in the dark, troubled and difficult moments where we have to stretch and grow. 
So anyway, um, probably for the best, I didn't do a magnetic eye tutorial <laughs> because maybe, maybe this just needed to happen. Um, and I don't know if, if you can relate, then, then great. And if not, then, you know, you're in a better place than me. And that's wonderful too. Um, I know we all have our peaks and valleys and right now it's just my valley, but I, um, I know I've got a big peak coming. And so I press into that faith and that belief system. And I thank you. Um, I thank you for your support and for your uplifting nature. Um, we all know not everybody's like that. And it's a shame, but we can't, we can't change the world and what is. But I keep my eyes on the beauty and the love in this community and the connection. And I am so blessed for it. And... I mean, you bless me in a million ways. And so thank you because I took a hobby and I was able to make it into a career. And when you do what you love, it's not work. And so you allow me to feel like I am just working on this passion project. And I'm so grateful. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for being a friend from afar. Be bold and be blessed. I know I'm going to, no matter what, and I'll see you next week.